personal journey of some type. Our storytellers tonight introduce us to a Sylvania man whose personal journey has taken him from the darkness to the light and will soon take him halfway around the world in pursuit of his dreams. NBC 24's Rob Packard and photojournalist Bill Price bring us the story tonight of perspiration and inspiration. Before the sun even rises, Normally I am up by five. At an hour when most of us are still sleeping, Todd Crandall is up, popping protein powder and pouring water. The morning is usually my time. That's when I'm, I do the most of my training. The workout begins with a two mile bike ride confined to the garage. What are we at, 537? Yeah, leave in about eight minutes to get over the pool. Swim for an hour. By 6.30 in the morning, Crandall is halfway through a two-mile swim. Uh, yeah, I guess it's not the, the norm, so to speak. But um, for, to me, it's normal. This is a normal way of life. Being addicted to adrenaline is normal, compared with a time in Todd's life when he was addicted to something that almost killed him. I used to be a cocaine, heroin, alcoholic guy. For 13 years, I was addicted to any type of drug I could get my hands on, and I was drinking over a fifth and a half of whiskey a day. A far cry from the Todd of today, a triathlete in training for one of the most grueling competitions in the world. But the Sylvania athlete's toughest test of endurance started when he was only 13 years old and addicted to drugs. And it was pretty, it was hell, basically. Kicked out of my house, I was expelled from high school, and I ended up living in my car down in Florida for about seven months. Spent Christmas Day that year sitting on the beach, drinking a bottle of vodka while the rain's coming down outside, and I'm thinking, this isn't a very good way to live my life. But Todd continued his marathon addiction another six years until he was arrested for the third time driving drunk and nearly comatose. And that's when the light switch came on and I said, I gotta quit this way of life. It's now been exactly nine years and one month since Todd Crandall did any crack cocaine or alcohol. It's been a long and rewarding road to recovery. There's no comparison. I feel a hundred, a million times better today. Now Todd is chasing a dream that started years ago when his mind was still clouded by drugs. I used to watch the Iron Man Hawaii when I would be, you know, I'd have a pile of cocaine in front of me and I'd be drinking and I used to watch it on TV and I'd think, that's the ultimate test in sport, I want to do that. So then once I got sober, after a few years, I thought, okay, I'm ready, Let, let's try that. And I've been hooked ever since. From drugs to dreams, it's been a long journey. I've been in New Zealand in some pretty nice places throughout the world. One that's about to take him from his home in Sylvania to Brazil to compete in the next Ironman triathlon. 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike ride, and then a 26.2 marathon run. It's a healthy addiction. I love the, the dedication and the perseverance that it takes just to compete in one of these. And when you cross that finish line, it's all worth it. It's all worth it. And Todd is now taking his story one step further. Trying to take that message all, essentially all over the world. To... He's a motivational speaker and founder of Racing for Recovery, a group created to inspire others from his life lessons. Look where I was. I was addicted to drugs and alcohol for 13 years, and now I'm married, I own my own home, and I'm doing the Iron Man, and this too could be you. Todd has received more than a hundred letters so far from people saying his story has inspired them to stay away from drugs. Todd leaves Friday for Brazil. He's going to compete in the Ironman Triathlon just one week from Saturday. We'll let you know how he does. And you can learn more about his story by logging on to NBC24.com.